Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Dave Curlin and Chad Burmeister, and we are going to talk about how to deal with millennials. Um, Chad, why don't you share a story with us? Working with millennials, collaborating with millennials, it's a different game, right, than the game that we used to play with, as, as I think Dave has said in the past, um, putting someone up on the stage and giving them a trophy or an award is not necessarily something that a, that a typical millennial may actually want, expect, or even appreciate. Um, in fact, I've seen uh, a recent example is where a person was given an award and, you know, received a promotion, stood up, and we ever, everybody gave this person a, a standing ovation. And they did not feel very comfortable about that at all and sat down as quick as they could, right? Did not want to be in the spotlight. I think that the millennials are more um, peer-to-peer -peer focused and they have a harder time focusing on dealing with hierarchy. And, and I think uh, you as the manager, you may want to think about co-creating uh, the progression of their career with them instead of making decisions for them. The other thing about millennials is almost to a person, they tend to be intrinsically motivated rather than extrinsically motivated. So if we think of the traditional salesperson and working on commissions, that was an extrinsically motivated individual. The, the millennials being mostly intrinsically motivated, uh, they're out to change the world, to make a difference, to be a part of something bigger than themselves. They're doing it for love of what they're doing. They want to master what they're doing. Uh, they're doing it for self-satisfaction. And, you know, in many cases, uh, in, in many cases, they also have an entitlement attitude, which kind of flies in the face of being given that promotion and then having a problem with how it was given to them. But uh, generally speaking, they're, they're different as a group. And what we can't lose sight of is that selling doesn't change. Selling is still selling, and we, we can't listen to the folks who say that millennials have to sell differently, but they do need to be motivated and managed differently. More of them love to win than hate to lose, whereas we used to hate to lose more than we love to win. I mean, I, I think back to my own deals, and um, nothing happens when I win a deal. There's, there's no reaction. I expect to win. It's business as usual. Let's go get the next one. But when I lose, it's visceral. I get so upset with, with me. I get so angry. It doesn't last long. You know, it might only be a couple of minutes, but there, there's definitely a reaction to losing that isn't there with winning. But the millennials love to win. They want to be coached to win. They don't want to be coached to not losing. I think of uh, the new situations like uh, dealing with millennials like, a software upgrade uh, from Apple, you know, that um, nothing is fixed anymore um, in this world of technology. Everything is in flux and everything is changing. So you may want to think about getting a, a millennial uh, relationship uh, software upgrade and, uh, and read some books on the subject. I've certainly been, been keeping up with the latest, the, uh, I know Trish Bertuzzi put out a paper on this subject with Steve Richard some time back, and they do one annually. So that's, uh, that's always a good one to keep, keep firsthand. So. Did you get upset like uh, Dave, where you thought, uh, may, maybe I made a mistake, or maybe I'm getting obsolete here? You always need to be learning new skills. So, you know, that's why I like to expand my horizons, whether it's a new role or a new company. Um, you know, every three or four years, you and, and every year you kind of have to reinvent yourself. So um, I think as long as you're keeping up with the latest and greatest trends and, and uh, approaches to, the, to selling, you know, social selling is the buzzword of the year last year. Um, big data, analytics, predict, you know, you just need to be in the game and, and in the know. So right. thank you, Chad. And thank you, Dave, for sharing your insights on dealing with millennials. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's an important part of the sales organization. And when you work with them effectively, you can achieve great things. So thank you very much.